Two first level drawing classes were held in the fall of 2020. Their final project allowed them to work with any medium to expand on an idea from their visual diaries. It was interesting to me that without specifying it, many of the final pieces dealt with space, the physical space of landscape, favorite vacation spots and pastimes, but also the empty spaces of sports fields without players or roads leading to nowhere. Embedded in many of these works is the challenging psychological space of quarantine, at times hopeful and other times defeated or anxious. The enduring of the forever now that is COVID, a theme that many students couldn't help but engage with. Drawing or painting a portrait is a challenging task for my students, a creative space that is met with both fear and excitement. The trick is realizing that rendering a face is no different than rendering a place. As Audrey Fleming writes, shading a portrait reminds me of blending a sunset. The warm colors all fade into each other just like a sunset does. The portraits you see here are these classes' third assignment, a service learning opportunity called the Memory Project. Each student selected a photograph of a child from Cameroon and used a gridding process to ensure accurate proportion. The outcomes exist only as photographs now as the final portraits created were mailed directly to the children. Practice makes perfect and these selected works reveal that anyone can acquire the ability to render a face as long as they are willing to see what is right in front of them. The last set of works is from two different semesters of Painting One, hence distinct yet related content. I like to think this is where the ideas of spaces and faces meet, albeit in a set of still lives and abstract paintings. One of the lessons I consistently convey to students is art's ability to transcend the obvious. As such, I encourage them to think of objects as stand-ins for people, to know that any still life, any painting really, has the potential to be a metaphor for the human condition. And so in these works, space is not only a descriptive act, how do I paint this so it looks like it has depth and form, it is also an expressive one. How can my painting evoke human emotions? How can the objects themselves be composed to elicit a similar reading? These are the best paintings along those lines from fall and spring. I think